it's your girl bougie wild and i am back with another vlog today is saturday january 20th and it is currently a 12 56 p.m to be exact uh on my way to meet kara to go see the mean girls movie i'm gonna just be honest the movie started at 12 45 but you know they have 15 minutes of previews so I'm about to pull up now. It's right after the next two lights. So I'll get there literally as the movie is beginning. I overslept. I woke up at six, got some things done, and started to uh, edit the vlog that's coming out tomorrow. And I got really tired. I had to take a nap. So I took a nap while listening to some meditation music, set my alarm for 30 minutes, and I don't know if it was like between the meditation music and the alarm, I don't know, the alarm was drowned out, and when I woke up, my alarm had been going off, that's that, I needed that. And then I put my outfit on, didn't care to wear that, so I had to change my clothes because I'm not for going out the house feeling uncomfortable with something that I don't want to wear. So, end up changing my clothes, got my tea, got my smoothie, and now I'm here. Um, Kara is already here, of course. Um, and then it was about a 25 minute drive. It was a 25 minute drive, so. Anyways, about to um, turn into here and I will see you all a little later. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Me yesterday, I would handle this shit differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So, even if you're asking, even, even if you're asking, cause I do what I do, and it's time for something new. Yeah, gotta know when I let go. That's the best I could do. Um, we're just going to Crave Dessert Bar. Um, I had something else picked out, but really ran out of time. Didn't have time to iron it and all of that. So I'll save it for my next outing. But here's this. Here's this. And I'll explain. Y'all been wearing the heck out of these boots. I've really been wearing a lot of black lately. Definitely about to liven it up soon because I don't really care to be wearing black all the time. I mean, I wear it during the week, but you know, when I'm out, I like to wear some color. This is a little shirt I kind of ripped up to make it more flattering and more to my liking. What made it easier is I put some outfits together. The hardest part was the coat. I didn't know what kind of coat I wanted because this is, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That just felt a little bit all over the place. I'm definitely gonna turn that into a look though. Gave me some inspiration, but 
not uh it's just daytime yeah some a different time but those colors would rock together but okay this is what i'm wearing we have okay this is what i'm wearing look at them jeans y'all they don't move in these they're kind of tight but i like the fit in my little bag, my Target bag from like four seasons ago. And it's, this is summertime too, but that's okay. It goes, the colors go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, let us get to Korea. <laughs> Keep up with my tempo, tempo Yeah, yeah, blow it up, C4 I just hit the mic jacks on all my tiptoes Oh yeah, I know we go Wherever that wind blows, the end of Don't stop on the trail Don't slip on the trail yeah, 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 yeah. High key, I know I send all of my rap foes like they my tadpoles Yeah, yeah Blow it up, she fold I just had to go crack now on my depot Yeah, yeah, that Draco doesn't like free throws I do not miss no shots, I got the cheat code That's why I never lose they can't predict my moves I'm way too smooth yeah. I just caught a groove yeah. This right here, that Charizard The fire in the booth, yeah Had to go right back to it, yeah If you ain't tell my money, please save your breath Don't bring it up to me, yeah I pull up in that stunt like a 007 James Bond type movie, yeah Hey Don't slip on the trip No, 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 no don't slip on the trail. Don't slip on the Don't slip on the Don't slip on the Don't slip on the Tempo, tempo. You keep up with my tempo, tempo. Something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I'd be more Picking the plate, being the plate She is unruly Never seen her like this Didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not here to play She'll get moved Take this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no Problems disappear She could tell you the things you want to hear She could read your mind and that she could be loud I want you to fight a little harder And do a little more And try a little harder God says, I see what's going on in your life I know what's dragging you down in your spirit I hear the cries of your depression 
I see the trembling hands that your anxiety are causing. I see the trauma that you buried deep enough to get it past people. But man looks on the outward appearance and God looks on the heart. And God sees past the struggle and God sees the source. And God looks past your weakness and God gives more strength. What shall we say then in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Shall not he who delivered his son freely give us all these things? Okay, y'all, so today is Sunday. As you've seen, I made it to church today. I have not gotten any sleep, y'all. Dealing with uh, the vlog that went up today had me up until literally like 5 o'clock in the morning. And then I woke up at 8.30 to go to church. But y'all know I got my heater with me. Um, But I've been able to accomplish so much stuff. Um, I literally have a few more things to do. I do have a, a hair appointment. So I did have to wash the product out of my hair for having that ponytail on, have my conditioner sitting, made some pasta, um, Alfredo with chicken, broccoli, and spinach. And then I, I purchased some wings from Sam's Club as you all saw in the last vlog and I had to break them all down into individual bags. One bag couldn't fit in my freezer. So went ahead and made it so I have a few wings here on my plate. Been working. Um, so I'm about to finish up my email that's going out for tomorrow. Then I will rinse out my hair and get ready to go. So. While I'm getting my hair done, if I don't fall asleep, I plan on listing all the sunglasses and stuff that I have on Poshmark on Facebook because I just feel like it may be easier to sell on Facebook and I really want to close my Poshmark store down. And I didn't even tell you guys on the last vlog, the people that um, placed their Poshmark order ended up canceling the order. So, there's that. But anyway, let me get back to work and I'll pop in with you guys a little later.
the QGTM type of time now. I'm not sorry, this drove up. All right, what it is, what it do, guys? It is Monday afternoon. It is almost two o'clock, and I'm just now getting out the house. I'm so tired, so I've been getting a lot of things done. I allow myself to just relax. I've been up. I did create an Instagram post for tomorrow. I was trying to schedule it. My Instagram, for whatever reason, it doesn't allow me to schedule. So, um, I pretty much had to redo it and just create an album. Well, I already have an album in my um, phone for things that's ready to post. I'm trying to make the process as seamless as possible. So tomorrow I'm not spending all day coming up with a caption and all that. So I took the time out today to do that. Put the photos that I wanted to use for the post in my ready to post album in my phone and already did the caption, have it in my notes. So hopefully tomorrow it'll take me no more than five minutes to um, post that. Hopefully I remember. I may, I may need to just set an alarm on my phone um if you all use an app to schedule your posting on instagram let me know what it is like for youtube when i upload i can schedule it i know it's coming out and i don't have anything i don't have to worry about it it you know posts without me thinking but it would be nice if i can do that for instagram it would just make my process so much smoother and it will allow me to be more consistent on the platform um because i could batch content and then just schedule it out accordingly um i had plans on going to the coffee shop today after i dropped the kids off to get some things done but i just still feel tired i've been up for a while uh i was doing that i needed to contact my buyers because i had a, f a form that i needed to um revise for them and i'll tell you guys more about the deal that i did last week i can't believe um i didn't even mention it until like the end of the vlog but um i'll tell you guys more about the deal that i closed last week later on in the vlog well towards the end because i just feel like it's a good time for us to get into the conversation of mobile home investing and then all of that we'll get to that um so anyways i think today instead of doing all the things i'm just going to take this day and really allow it to be a self-care day i already packed my lunch and stuff so i can have something to eat while i was at the coffee shop but that's fine i'll put it in the refrigerator and that way i don't have to worry about packing lunch for tomorrow that stuff will already be done because i do have um appointment tomorrow and i have appointments thursday so this week is going to be a little busy as it is. So I might as well take the moment that I do have to pause, to pause, or I'm just gonna, you know, still be sleep deprived and all of that. Um, I did bring my journals and then my fitness journal. I haven't written in it since like the 10th. So I do wanna, you know, give some updates on what I've been doing. Um. And that way, when I do meet with my nutritionist on next month, I have some things that I can report back versus just trying to go off memory every time we talk so I can see um, where am I doing good? Where am I, you know, needing to instill some better habits or you know, just whatever. I will say when it comes to packing lunch, I'm so proud of myself. Um, I've been doing a really good job. And then when I got on the scale, I think it was either Friday or Saturday, I had dropped, dropped five pounds. And I'm so happy because I lost a lot of weight this summer. I was doing really good. Y'all, my birthday, I looked amazing. And then when November came, like, the week of first of all i had a really big closing um 
and it happened so fast but in the midst of all that I got really stressed out about some things and I didn't feel like doing anything um and so the the month of November from like the week of the 16th until December I was just like in the gym but not going as hard and then when I went home for the holiday I only went to the gym one time once December came around I did try to force myself to get back into the gym because by that time I had already gained 10 pounds like I have to be active I have to keep moving like it is especially me working from home um being an entrepreneur I'm not forced to move and so I have to consistently move like during the summer I would work out I would go to my workout class and then I would walk a mile in my neighborhood I would use my watch I would go up to the university so I was pretty much working out or moving two to three times a day and that's one thing that I don't like when it begins to get colder I don't like the cold I don't like being outside in it and it just completely takes my motivation um and that's where discipline has to really begin to you know kick in um so anyways i was happy to see that just making that change of making sure i have snacks in the car with me making sure that i have lunch um i was so grateful to see um Cause that's pretty quick like a week maybe a week and a half to lose five pounds so y'all sometimes it's just the small changes that we need to make small adjustments that will allow us to see an increase in whatever it is that we're aiming for or whatever so um don't know why i went there because that wasn't my plan and now i forgot what I was actually talking about. Anyways, I think I'm just going to take a beat today. Um, I brought, oh, that's what I was saying. I brought my journal and my, um, my regular journal, my fitness journal, and my planner just to, you know, plan out some things, but I may just come back home and do that stuff. So I'm about to get a, about a 45 minute workout in. It might be 30 because I done sat here talking and I had to record twice cause I forgot, wasn't paying attention to the fact that the music was on y'all and I, I can't have that in my background. So this is take two of this clip. Um, But yeah, and then if I do come home, that'll give me time tonight to just have a chit chat with you all about my mobile home deal and all of that. Um, Y'all, I completely forgot, and I was up this morning, completely forgot to send out my uh, mobile home Monday email. And I like to send the email at eight o'clock every single Monday. The platform that I use in order for me to, um, you know, have it automated, automatically scheduled they charge and i need to get as much stuff as i can for free um but sometimes it's between like 7 50 and 8 o'clock because that's around the time that i'm typically leaving out the door on a monday and last monday i forgot but thankfully it was a holiday i cannot believe I'm starting to forget this like I I don't be late on sending my emails at night I put them up so as soon as I go to my computer before I walk out the door I literally just hit send like all the recipients everything is already done so by the time I thought about it it was 11 o'clock I like to send it out at the earlier part of the day because I feel like once people get to work the first thing they do is check their emails so I'm going to have to set an alarm on my phone because it's really getting to the point where I have a lot of things on my plate and it is so easy for something to slip, you know, beneath the crack. It cracks, especially because I slept in today. Um, so it kind of got me out of routine. But I also planned on 
shooting um, content for Mobile Home Monday for my Instagram because I haven't posted any mobile home videos on my Instagram since around that time in November where right before I had, you know, just start going through different things. So I'm trying to get back in the habit of that and I'm also trying to figure out more videos to create surrounding the whole mobile homes and things like that, especially when business is like this. It gives me, you know, I guess less things to talk about. I don't know. A lot of people, and then this is another thing. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that until I have clarity and I can project that thought properly. Um. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna come back home. I brought my stuff with me anyways because the gym always just gives me an extra boost. However, I won't have time to take a shower anyway because I'm still freaking talking. Anyway, y'all, I gotta go. It is getting late and I have really been home for almost ever. And I just wanted to show y'all what I got. I did stop at the grocery store after picking up Carter and uh, when I put my order in, they had uh, sold out of Pink Lady Apples when I put my Instacart order in last week. So, pick up some Pink Lady Apples, pick up some limes. Y'all, excuse my hands, I was washing dishes and cleaning up. Two grapefruit, some seasoning salt. And then y'all, y'all know I've been talking about the hush puppies. So I'm gonna try to make some. This will save me some coin. And I did look at the sugar and stuff before I got it. 24 grams of carbs, five grams of sugar, two grams of protein. So it's 110 calories and nine per serving. I didn't think that was that bad, so I know I've been kind of neglecting y'all today, but I just needed some time to get myself together. Just popped on to show y'all a few of the things I picked up, and I'll catch y'all tomorrow. feels like a Wednesday or Thursday it feels like it has been a really long week so far I'm sitting in the car parked eating these tuna wraps that I packed I've had a very very long day I do have e group later but I do want to just take a moment and sit still and work on some things so instead of going home I'm going to go to a coffee shop I'm so hungry I already ate my pepperoni and broccoli on my way to pick up Carter, but I needed to pause for a minute and actually get some food in my system because I haven't eaten all day. Hmm. <sighs> I haven't even drank my smoothie. Mm. So I will pop back in with you guys once I get to the coffee shop.
Lord, you are good and your mercy endures. People from every nation from generation to generation, we worship you. Y'all, how did I end up at the mall when I just told y'all I was headed to the coffee shop? Here we go. Protecting my peace for so long, a little too good now I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows, almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. How does everybody has to let go of the ego? Don't go out nearly as much as I should. Barely know the way around my neighborhood. I'm ruminating, I feel no good. Not living life like I know I could. Like I know I could. Like I know I should. Like I know I could. Like I know I could. Like I could. If you would show me. Yeah. If you would show me. Yeah. yeah. If you would show me. Yeah. I spent so much time here. Oh
us That is what my heart says That's what my heart says I wanna be with you always You are my world in every place It's the things I do do And it's the smile on your face I have to be on my best behavior because everywhere I go, boom, run into one of the girls. Never to part. I want to be with you always. Because that is what my heart says. That's what my heart says. I want to be with you always. So I'm really in Ralph Lauren talking to y'all about different looks like it's not going to get muted because of the music in the background. However, they have some very nice business looks and that schoolgirl look is going to be really big this year like the schoolgirl skirts and stuff. So yeah, y'all heard it here first like the plaids and things but let's remember to keep it fun add some colors to your outfits don't be boring don't be so dark add some color and just because it's winter time it does not mean that we can't have fun with our outfits with color pop and all of that the universe has known it all along Maybe this is where our story starts Maybe it was written in the stars Written in the stars You will be forever, yeah You will be written in the stars You will be forever, yeah Forever, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are me. Written 
Okay, so this next part of the vlog is for the men. I recently got a few male subscribers and welcome, welcome. I am so happy to have you here and there's going to be something here for y'all too. So a couple of weeks ago, my brother asked me what were some nice fragrances that Bath and Body Works had for men. I used to get them in my dad, different stuff. Um, and I need to start back doing that. So I'm going to hold up a few of the scents that I like that's for men. Um, so go ahead and write it down or take a screenshot. Valentine's Day is coming up. And don't be selfish. Get the men in your life something and make them feel special as well. already have little gift bags made for the men that have body spray lotion um shower gel and that hand cream and i think it was like 38 dollars if i'm not mistaken they also have bar soap not sure if you all prefer to use fragrance bar soap or not but just in case that's your thing they have it at bath and body works and by no means is this sponsored yet <laughs> are coming out with skincare lines for men now i don't know anyone who has tried this but i do know people have asked me about it um look at me dropping stuff so bath and body works does have a line for men's face wash i know it has beard oil it has um i believe shaving cream it has a lot of different stuff and they have a lot of different um, scents and stuff. So y'all may want to check that out. And I think they had one, a face wash that even had an exfoliant. So yeah. Time takes a toll on everyone, they say Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change Time, I am stressing out, I can't figure out what to say Oh, time, just give us time So 
So this whole back wall is full of uh, men's stuff. So face wash, body wash, um, sprays, colognes, mists, all that. So y'all go check that out. Okay, I'm not really an all-in-one kind of girl just because you want your shampoo and conditioner to have some moisture in it that maybe a body wash wouldn't necessarily have because you want to be putting those nutrients and stuff back in your hair. So I'm not a three-in-one shampoo, conditioner, body wash kind of girl, but if you are one of those type of people um bath and body work times what you need Okay, y'all, last thing, because I really need to get out of here. I've never used this brand. However, for those of you who may have dry skin, Bath & Body Works does have a line called Moxie. Um, I believe it also has shampoo and conditioner, but I know they have body wash, um, lotion, and even a vitamin. Now, it was on the 75% off table so i'm not sure if this was something that they'll be discontinuing or if it's something that you can still purchase in the store but for all of you who may deal with dry skin that may be something you want to check out okay by this time i know y'all like is this a vlog or is this a soundtrack but i'm here to tell you baby it's both Cause half the time I don't want to do anything but daydream and listen to music anyways, okay? Okay, okay, so I really came to the mall to go to Sephora and Best Buy. How did we end up here? Well, I was walking past. My dad called me when Primark launched or opened in Charlotte. And honestly, I have never been, but my mom drives to go to Primark. So when I walk past it, I'm like, I have to stop and see what this store is all about. So guys, here we go. Question. Do yes, you guys have plus sizes? It's all mixed in, so we uh -huh. don't have a specific, specific. area. For okay, it. gotcha. Hi, 
Huh? Can I tell you something? Oh, sure. I'm dead. <laughs> Hi, I mean, vlog. I don't know if it's gonna be. I'm it's Taylor. Good. I just bought my first car this morning. <laughs> oh my God, congratulations. Yeah. I'm <laughs> what kind of car did you get? A Nissan Sitra 2017. Okay, I hear that. Congratulations. Are you in school? Yeah, I'm in college. What you going for? Um, my major is business. My uh, entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship. I mean, my minor is entrepreneurship. I love it. What you want to do? I want to open my own beauty bar. I'm a makeup artist. Oh, I love it. I went to school for cosmetology, but now I'll invest in mobile homes Sweet, I and. <laughs> I don't even know how I can be rich in the next three days. Oh. I got $100. You, you got to pray. Oh, wow. You can't do anything without God. I would tell you that. Put him first okay. in everything you do. Pray. Step two. Um, you got to work hard. Learn all that you can and then apply Same it. <laughs> Nothing happens overnight. Especially if it's worth having. You, you did. You got the first big thing. You got a car. You don't have to worry about depending on anybody else. I'm going to be right back. I got to go to my big manager. <laughs> okay. Do y'all watch YouTube? I'm in cosmetology school. Oh, that's what I went for. Period. Your hair's cute too. Thank you. Thank you. What's your specialty? I don't know yet. I want to do natural, like get my natural hair license. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Leave me some comments. Let's I have will. a conversation. I love it. You too. I'm gonna have to come back when I really got time to explore and see if there's sure. anything that I want. So Thank you so much, girl.
Oh, this is nice. Look how they looking at me. I think they influenced by me. They say they not with me, alright. Wish how they looking at me. She want me to slide for the flame. She want me to show some things. But right now I'm focused on me doing me. Gotta watch step on the tightrope. I never fall off this light work. No one's people trying to see me down real bad. Same ones trying to meet me where I'm at now. Same ones trying to figure how I got here. I've been serving my pop, been shaking my sauce, been writing these songs since 48 key drops. Tell me when to go, how you think I'm finna stop? I be protecting my inner child. You could keep all of that dissonance. They be hating on me cause they see I'm gifted. It's all from the soil, 3D printed. I be doing me like I got a blink check. I be decking shade for the love and respect. Wanna touch stage, cross seas on me. No drama, more flights. Next year's looking lit. I'm laid up in somebody grass. I'm burning the gas to my last breath. Life is so fragile, enjoying the roses so high you can't see me, I'm seated She wanna beat me, I'm trying to do Fiji, I live on the island alone I'm trying to be one with my aura before I allow me to solve In the flame, want me to give her that moonlight. Everything not what it seems. Real one from the jump start. Gotta watch step on a tightrope. I never fall off this light work. Lord knows it's God's work.
Hello. <laughs> Didn't we get talking about <laughs> not being on time? Huh? Uh, I said, didn't we get talked about not being on time? Well, yeah, no, I was going to say good morning. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. Oh. I'm talking about the empty. Oh, yeah. Well, they got three minutes. <laughs> not be late. I will not be late. I will not be late. I will not be late. All right, guys, we have reached the part of the vlog where it is done. It is time for reflection where I tell you guys what is going on. Talk to you guys um, and pretty much reflect on whatever I did that day, that week. I believe this vlog is like a span of three days. I edited it last night. I can't even. <laughs> I've been editing. You know what? I think it was from Sunday to Wednesday. What was yesterday? No, from Sunday to Tuesday. And I began recording a new vlog starting from yesterday onward. Listen, at this point in the journey, some of the days are just jumbling. Some of the vlogs are jumbling. I can't even remember. That's why I began to take notes. But um, anyways, let's get to it. I have therapy at 9 o'clock. It is 8.45, y'all. So one thing, I have went back to drinking coffee. It is just crazy. And I really don't even like coffee. And it's like everything that I have been thinking when it comes to um, the things that I know I need to change with my eating habits, like, for example, last week when I went grocery shopping, I realized that I bought a whole bunch of dairy. And one of my things is I'm trying to reduce the amount of dairy that I intake. So I also bought a whole bunch of pasta. I don't even eat pasta like that, to be honest, not even when I go out to eat. But I was scrolling down Instagram, seeing someone make a pasta bake. It looked really good. And it took me down this rabbit hole. And so I'm creating a grocery list based off of something that looked good in the moment. And when I got home and I made the pasta, it was good. But I made, I purchased spaghetti as well, spaghetti sauce, just all these you know, things to prepare different pastas that I don't even make at home. And so when it came after I made the um, the pasta that I had seen on Instagram, the initial one that I saw, when I go back in my refrigerator, my freezer, and my cabinets to figure out what I'm going to make for my next meal, and I see all this stuff that I don't even eat all because... I got distracted and I created my grocery list off of temporary fixes or, you know, things that looked good in the moment that I normally don't even eat and I'm not going to want to eat, you know? So it was a lot of lessons in that, um, being, being, um, being careful what I'm consuming and how I'm letting it influence me and when I'm letting it influence me and then not to be wasteful because I will be using that stuff. I'm just going to use it over a period of time. That also taught me that it made me think back when I was in college, back when I was working two jobs, I often would shop in bulk and I would write a list of meals. And this was also during the time I was doing videos for YouTube based off my keto journey, right? I would make a list of meals and I would write them down and I would already have the stuff. So I wouldn't have to go to the grocery store as often because I really didn't have a whole bunch of time to spend in the grocery store. Well, that worked for that season of my life right but now in this season i'm not sure that that works so i'm not sure if it's because of 
me being distracted in the moment and I'm making my list based off of things that I see that look good in the moment that I don't typically eat and I don't want to include in my diet on a regular or if it truly just doesn't work for me because the next time it was time for me to cook I didn't want to make any of those things so I don't know if I want to do my grocery shopping week by week and just okay this is what I'm going to eat this week and you know so on and so forth so it just gave me something to look into like something that worked last season when your life looked this way it does not always work this season because life is completely different and I was doing things in that season based off of this is the window of time that I have to work with right well, in this season, the window that I have to work with looks different. So that's another lesson, like reevaluating when the seasons change because what worked once doesn't always work where you are today. So that was good. Um, so it also talked about coffee the pros and the cons to coffee, the pros and the cons when it even comes to drinking wine. Um, two cups here and there can be good. Any more than that, it can become a problem. The crazy thing is I was having a conversation, I think it was with my cousin, and I was like, I don't, I've been drinking a lot lately and I'm not even, a drinker and I haven't been getting drunk haven't gotten drunk at all it's just the fact of I don't want to get in the habit of having a drink all the time or when I go out having a drink all the time no I want to be able to go out and drink water and a lot of times when I go out I honestly do drink water I ask for water and lemon sometimes I'll ask for water lemon lime and mint when I want to get a little fancy but um and there so last year Shireen and I did dry January and I already was beginning to alcohol is nasty period okay and so I was already losing interest in it and when we did that it kind of just took the taste out of my mouth to the point I don't even like it but when we went to R&B night and I had that ginger drink, it was really, really good. So, um, that's kind of what started it, me trying different drinks and stuff. But I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to get in the habit of feeling like I need to have a drink just because I'm out. So it also talked about that. Um, so with the coffee, I've been saying this ever since I came back from Christmas. I've been saying I'm going to order the rise. I'm going to order the rise. And I really need to do that today. Anyways, the coffee I have is running out. Um, and it also talked about for people who are in addiction, active addiction, we all are addicted to something but those who are struggling with substance abuse addiction whether that be alcohol pills um needles you know any substance um it talked about celebrate recovery um and i did one or two of i think i have a workbook from celebrate recovery that i did when I was in a different Bible group. Um, and it just asks you a lot of questions from what I remember. If I can, well, I think I know where the book is. Um, but if I feel like there's anything in the book, once I go back through it, that will help us in this community, of course, I'll bring it to you guys' attention. Going back to the dairy, I'm glad I got these notes. Because I completely forgot about that. And I know a lot of people who have brought this up. It says the world, well, I just jotted it down on my notes. I don't know what it said verbatim in the book. But 
75% of the world is lactose intolerant or 75% of the world is lactose and cannot process the sugars in milk. And we really should not be drinking cow's milk or milk past the weaning stages. Ain't that crazy? Um, and so I think what he said or what they said was to try goat milk. I believe it was like goat milk or sheep's milk. I'm um, I'm like 95% sure that that's what he said. So I thought that was very, very interesting. I don't personally like milk. I do purchase almond milk for my cereal when I do have cereal. Um, so yeah, that. And for my smoothies, I use water as my base. So very seldom that I need to use milk for anything. Um, Hardy brought up how it was just in my face um, about all the habits that um, I've picked back up after putting them down. And a lot of the things when it comes, like I'm always, well, I don't wouldn't say always, but since my early 20s, I have been really interested in the foods that we eat and, you know, what's in them and just kind of a little bit of um a health food geek so it's like things that i already know but it's putting it back in my face um like with the red dyes and the foods and stuff like that's nothing new to me but i think when we're in a certain season where we're trying to become something it is important to kind of have it in our face. Like you can know the information, but you need to go back to the book so that you can be reminded. Because sometimes when we're not doing something, it's easy for us to forget about it. Okay. And um, oh, as I was editing the vlog i was trying to figure out if i wanted to go ahead and go to sleep or if i just wanted to power through and get the vlog done and one thing that i noticed about myself is first of all y'all notice i've been slowing down with the vlogs because i've been going to bed and i also noticed that the nights that i am up really really late it's because at the end of my day, I'm editing and it takes time, right? And I love it here. I love our community. I love what I get to do. But I also realize that I cannot do that every single day. So it is best for me to split the vlogs up into every couple of days so that I am getting sleep most of the days of the week and then I will have set days where I'll spend my night burning the oil is that what the old people said um editing and things like that oh, it's 857. so I'll spend my night um editing and I'll be okay with that because the majority of my week I'm getting sleep I don't have a schedule yet as far as what days I'll be releasing but I do want to release at least twice a week really three times but I'm gonna say at least twice a week and throughout the next weeks I'll see how things flow and then I'll be able to tell you guys a schedule of when I'll be um when I'll be posting what time I'll be posting and everything like that. I'll probably just play with different times for a while and different days and see what is able to flow into my schedule. Like Tuesday nights, I have um, I have e-group. So I definitely probably would not give you guys a vlog on a Wednesday. So I don't know, unless I ended on monday spend tuesday editing like tuesday during the day 
So I don't know. I'll figure it out. But let me think what else. Y'all, I've been walking around building this community. Like people see, I don't know. Did I say that in the vlog already? Well, people see me with my camera and I invite them to join the gang. Okay. Um, I've seen in videos long ago, like you got to tell people what you're doing and people see me with the camera and so they're more inclined to ask me questions and really just offer to subscribe before I can get to it. So yes, um, it's a pleasure meeting you all in person as well and being able to connect with you and when I connect with you in person, it lets me know who exactly my community is because some of you you have your profiles set to public so I can see when you subscribe, but others, I can just see the number of my subscribers increasing, but I don't really know who you are as a person and, you know, what type of things you enjoy and what things you're into. But y'all, it is 8.59 and it is time for me to log into therapy. Okay, actually y'all, wait <laughs> really quick. I actually thought of some other things that I wanted to say to you all as well. So uh diamond and i went to crave dessert bar and it's really cool for like those nights like i just like we have been going out it was probably only two or three weekends but when we go out we go out and i be tired like i'm i'm doing all of the all of the things and then to be going out like, how did I do this in college and would wake up the next morning fully recharged, fully refreshed? I would be in the gym when it was the, you know, when I was actively working out and stuff. And now I did not even make it to the gym on Friday. Like, I know how I am. So I did all my documentation and stuff because I had a closing on Friday and I had my stuff out. I had my gym bag ready just in case. But I fully prepared myself because I knew on Friday, God, I would love to go to the gym and I have a heart to go to the gym. But if I'm being realistic, I may not make it to the gym on Friday. And I literally made it to my closing. It was at 10 a.m. I literally made it, made it there at 9.57 and I was fully prepared because I had the gifts already ready and I had the paperwork. So they would have never even known about the night I had. And then my buyer, me and him was talking. I just enjoy him. He gonna say, yeah, why not? I came early so I could, <laughs> so I could uh, take me a car and that a car and a nap he was like uh yeah wana i came early pulled over there and took me a nap in the car and i'm thinking that sounds so healthy <laughs> right now like yeah that sounds really good but anyways so that happened oh which brings me to the other point that i wanted to make i did not forget that i need to do a video for you all regarding um regarding mobile homes, mobile home investing, and things like that. I'm just trying to figure out, I need an outline. This is something that is just like, when I give it to you all, I really wanna be able to give it to you in a certain way where you're, where you're able to understand and grasp the concept and, you know, really inspire you really enlighten really enlighten i don't want to have that and so i'm trying to figure out how i want to introduce it what are some things that i want to talk to you guys about what parts do i want to share you know um you know when you have a baby right you just don't and this is my baby um and so I'm kind of sensitive, just like YouTube, right? Like, in all the years that I've been on YouTube, I don't think I really sat down and, you know, did intimate chit chats, reflections and things like that. So I don't know. 
and right now I'm just blabbering but um yeah I want to do it in a, a way where I'm really helping you all I want to tell my story but I also there's some things that I have to keep confidential like teaching you guys through stories but some of the story has to be kept confidential for the sake of my uh buyers and sellers and my business um so yeah i don't want to just be um sharing certain videos and sit certain sensitive information and just um you know blabbing off at the mouth when it comes to it i want to be really str strategic with how i share things and um all of that so just pray for me um that god gives me a way to lead you guys into this journey with me without um jeopardizing anything so who jesus anyways i'm just gonna insert this and i'm gonna leave so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've already started recording for the next few days. And yeah, I love you all. I pray that you have a blessed day, a blessed week, and all the things. Y'all see, I'm so tired. Make sure y'all tune into the next vlog to see what my day is going to consist of anyways don't forget to like share and subscribe like share and subscribe i love you all so much god bless bye